Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem, the part 1 for the RL series circuit. When resistor and inductor is connected in series, energized by the AC supply, for that circuit we see the, will see the solved problem. First we will see the problem 1, a series RL circuit have this voltage and current equation is given, I of t equal to 5 sin 314t plus 2 pi by 3. Similarly, voltage V of t equal to 20 sin 314t plus 5 pi by 3. The equation for current and voltage is given. The determine the first one impedance of the circuit. The value of R and L and power factor. Then average power of the circuit. So, we need to find these, these parameters. So, based on the given data, the current is given as the current equation is 5 sin 314t plus 2 pi by 3. So, this 2 pi by 3 is nothing but the angle, phase angle of current, angle between current and voltage that is given 2 pi by 3. So, that that is 2 into pi is 180, 180 by 3. So, 2 into 180 by 3 is 120 degree. So, the phase angle of current is 120 degree. Similarly, the voltage V of t equal to 20 sin 314t plus 5 pi by 3. So, the phase angle of voltage is theta V is 5 pi by 3. So, 5 into pi is 180 divided by 3. So, 5 into 180 by 3 it is 150 degree. So, we calculated the phase angle of current as well as voltage from the given equation. So, this, this is nothing but a phase angle of voltage this is a phase angle of current we calculated so the phase angle between current and voltage can be calculated from this the theta equal to theta v the difference between theta v and theta i it's not a subtraction it's a difference a right? difference between the phase angle of voltage and, and current will give the phase angle between voltage and current so the 150 difference with 120 is 30 degree so, the phase angle between current and voltage is 30 degree. So, from this we can find the power factor because power factor is cos of theta. Theta is nothing but angle between current and voltage. So, we know the current and voltage, angle between current and voltage. So, cos theta is the power factor that is cos 30 that is 0.866 lagging because here we can we, we have the inductor circuit. So, the inductor circuit always current lags the voltage so that it is given lagging, right. So, from the voltage equation we calculated the phase angle of current, then phase angle of voltage, from that we calculated phase angle between current and voltage, by using the angle we calculated the power factor. Now, we will go to the next parameter, impedance, impedance of the circuit. Impedance can be calculated Vm by Im or equal to V by I. Similarly, Z equal to Vm by Im. So, 25 divided by 5 is 4 ohm. This Vm Im is already available from the equation. So, this is nothing but v Im. This is Vm. I equal to Im sin. Similarly, V equal to Vm. So, these two are the maximum value of current and voltage. By using that, we calculated Z equal to 4 ohm. Now, we can calculate the R and L value. So, one more formula is available for power factor cos phi equal to R divided by Z. From the phasor diagram, this formula is available. Cross multiply this. So, that R equal to Z cos phi. The Z now we calculated 4, 4 ohm. 4 ohm. The cos phi, the power factor also we calculated 0 0.86, 0 0.866. So, by multiplying this what we got R equal to 3.46 ohm. So, the R value is calculated. Now, we will calculate the L value. For that we will we'll find when the impedance. The impedance general formula is available. The magnitude of impedance is that equal to square root of R square plus XL square. So, general formula. Now, square on both the sides. So, Z square equal to R square plus XL square bring this xl in the right uh, left hand side so minus xl square equal to r square minus z square bring the z square in the right hand side 
now multiply with negative so that xl square equal to z square minus r square these two are interchanged so xl equal to by taking the square root square root of z square minus r square now z value is we know that z value is 4 ohm r value is we calculated 3.46 so by simplifying this what we got 2 ohm right so this is nothing but here z this is the value is 4 ampere this is r this value is r so now we got the inductive reactance 2 ohm inductive reactance we calculated as 2 ohm from that we can calculate the inductor value xl equal to 2 ohm we calculated but xl is nothing but omega into l the general formula is available so xl equal to 2 omega is 314 from the voltage and current equation the omega we identified as 314 into l so l we need to find so we bring the 314 in the denominator so 2 divided by 314 is nothing but inductor by simplifying this what we got 6.37 into 10 to the power minus 3 henry so now we calculated inductor value also so the one more parameter we need to find average power average power is v i cos pi v i is nothing but v m by root 2 i is nothing but i m by root 2 right v m i m value is available these values are not given so we calculated v is nothing but v m by root 2 i is nothing but i m by root 2 then cos pi power factor is 0.866 so by simplifying what we got 43.3 watts the average power is 43.3 watts so now we calculated all the parameters now we'll go to the second problem the second problem the coil having resistance of 6 ohm and inductance of 0 0.03 henry connected across 100 voltage 50 hertz supply right the resistor of 6 ohm and inductor of 0 0.03 henry is connected across the 100 ohm 100 voltage 50 hertz supply we need to calculate the current phase angle between current and voltage power factor and power we need to find these parameters so by analyzing the given data is the r is available 6 ohm l is 0 0.03 henry voltage is 100 voltage the frequency is 50 hertz first we will find the xl in order to find the current we will find xl the inductive reactance is 2 pi f into l inductive reactance is xl equal to 2 pi f l so 2 into pi into f is 50 and l is 0 0.03 these data are available so by simplifying we got 9.42 ohm the xl is calculated from that we can calculate the impedance impedance is nothing but square root of r square plus xl square the r value is given 6 ohm and xl is we calculated 9.42 so square root of 6, 6 square plus 9.42 square that is equal to 11.17 ohm so now we calculated impedance also from that we can easily calculate the current and other parameters the current i is v divided by z so v is 100 voltage the z we calculated 11.17 so by simplifying what we got 8.95 amperes the current is calculated now we can calculate the phase angle between voltage and current the formula is available pi equal to turn inverse xl by r so the xl is nothing but 11.1 xl is nothing but here 9.42 and r value is 6 ohm so tan inverse 9.42 divided by 6 we got 57.5 degree the angle between current and voltage is 57.5 degree is lagging why it is lagging it is a rl circuit inductor is available inductor in the inductor the current is always lagging the voltage so that it is given the lagging now we will find the power factor power factor is cos pi the pi value we calculated 57.5 degree so cos 57.5 degrees 0.537 lagging 
so here also lagging due to inductance now we calculate the power average power average power is vi cos pi the voltage is given 100 the current we calculated 8.95 and cos pi power factor just now calculated 0.537 so by simplifying this we got 480.6 watts the power factor the as well as average power is calculated so in this video we discuss about the solved problem based on the RL circuit resistor and inductor connected in a series we solve the two different problems thank you